Well, <laughs> it's funny. Once again, you know, The Wire happened, you know, we shot the pilot in 2001. And so uh, we started shooting the first season in 2002. So it really came in the wake of the 90s. And in the 90s, it was this huge explosion in black talent in Hollywood. Um, and so when we were shooting it, at least particularly when we started shooting it, I didn't really think too much about that this is unique, that uh, this is a, uh, a successful dramatic series that's starring mostly black people. I just didn't, I wasn't thinking about it that way. I was thinking more that um, this is one of the best things that's ever been on television, and I know it. I mean, it's, it's funny, I remember when I read the, because when I read the pilot for The Wire before I auditioned, I didn't want to do television. I thought television was me. It's funny because my career has been 90% television in the last 20 years, uh, last 10 years. But um, I just wanted to do theater and film. And when I read that pilot, I thought I have to be on the show. It was that the pilot was that good. Lance Solomon Reddick, you know, guys and gals, very few actors and actresses, especially black actors and actresses, could be uh, considered humble and wise and, of course, uh, appreciative of the opportunities given to them, especially when you're working in, you know, Hollywood, which is as satanic as satanic gets. But uh, when it comes to Lance Reddick, Lance Solomon Reddick, he's definitely one of those actors, guys and gals. He was such a remarkable talent who, you know, uh, started his career not with The Wire. I'll get to that, but... He started it with a little unknown show uh, known as Oz, which is what really, like, you know, began the whole uh, television boom period of the uh, late 90s leading into the uh, new millennium. And uh, it was a big show, Oz was. Not really in the scale of, like, say, uh, The Sopranos or The Shield or, and, like, I, I can't say the same thing about The Wire because The Wire really took off you know, a few years later, because it w it's very much a cult classic, but when it comes to Oz, it was very experimental in the way, like, you know, it was done, the way it was filmed and such. And Lance Reddick played this, uh, like, um, inmate, a uh, Jamaican inmate uh, by the name of uh, Desmond Mobey. And uh, Desmond Mobey was the highlight of this show, guys and gals. And uh, lo and behold, uh, the uh, Jamaican fuck in the word of uh, Mon Mondo Brown, I love Mondo Brown, but uh, you know, in this prison you had a lot of uh, the uh, twisted fox and uh, all sorts of, you know, scumbags you can find. It doesn't like, you know, just includes the uh, inmates, but the CEOs as well, the correctional officers or the hacks as they're called. And Desmond Bobe definitely stood out in no small part thanks to the performance of Lance Solomon Reddick and he was something else guys and gals he was truly a talent to behold and he played that role so well you can see why he would go on to star in the wire as deputy commissioner cedric daniels and cedric daniels he didn't always made the uh, best decisions but his intention was always for the betterment of baltimore maryland and he did the best he could with the authority he had and that's the thing about lance reddick as an actor he usually plays like you know authority figures or is in a position of power and he plays those roles so well. I haven't seen every single one of his roles but he's such a great talent and he has done some shorts like you know the uh, most famous one which my little sister Candace otherwise known as Demon Foxhound aka Ravana. You can check out both of her channels in the links down below but my god guys and gals she loves him so much. You will not find a bigger Lance Reddick fan than Candace. Candace was actually the one who introduced yours truly to the uh, Toys R Me, like, you know, uh, short film, you could call it, or whatever it's supposed to be, a commercial, I suppose, for Toys R Us. Actually, no, guys and gals, it's Toys R Me. I love that shit so much, and Lance Reddick, he made this role work so well, as he's done throughout his career. And the most important thing to take away from Lance Solomon Reddick, not just as an actor, but as a man, is the fact that, you know, he was very 
humble, he was very wise and once again appreciative of the roles he got. And as you saw in the interview, he didn't make things out to be like, you know, whites and blacks or whites versus blacks or any shit like that. He simply approached things as an actor seeking opportunities and is always grateful for the opportunities he's got. And this is a perfect time for yours truly to wish him a very happy birthday. Happy birthday, Lance Solomon Reddick. And God bless you, man. God bless you. Well, guys and gals, that's the end of this, like, you know, little introduction to the tribute dedicated to Lance Solomon Reddick. Thank you all for watching and enjoy the tribute if you wish. Swallow a lie when I have to. I've swallowed a few big ones lately. But the stacked games, that lie, it's what ruined this department. Shining up shit and calling it gold so mages become colonels and mayors become governors. Pretending to do police work while one generation fucking trains the next time not to do the job. I can't believe, but they haunt my head. I've been feeling oh yeah, I've been feeling dead, but I'm not the same. Like, no, you taught me I had purpose and used that to my advantage And gave me life advice when I was dead to get for granted The only fucking person who saw potential not damage Lost someone and watched him die, that's just how God planned it Remember the day that they told me that you were dead I know your students are rude and they pushed you over the edge I just hope the pain ain't last, told me not for a sec I wonder if you popped pills or had a rope at your neck You're the man who broke his back for a drop of respect Always told me keep on living, never thought you'd be dead Told myself I had no time to see it stuck in my head Crazy how it clicked in place when I found out about your death Now your blood's all on my hands and I don't know what to do I should have seen all of the signs, I was going through it all too But you smiled on my face and told me keep on pushing through Now I realize that I should have said the same thing to you I've been doing the same since I lost my friend Don't count the memories but they haunt my head I've been feeling oh yeah, I've been feeling dead But I'm not the same just like no they can I've been doing the same since I lost my friend, don't count the memories, but they haunt my head. I've been feeling, oh yeah, I've been feeling dead, but I'm not in the same just like no they care. 3 a.m. remember my phone was getting a call. Pressed the client a couple times, cause I didn't wanna talk. Fourth time that I got it, I stormed right into the hall. That's when they told me they found your body on the wall. I swear to God that in that moment everything stopped. I've never really been religious, but started screaming at God. Asking why he take away someone who did nothing wrong. Tired of people telling me it's only to make me strong. Now his daughter's got no father and I know how she feels. But hers was ripped away, how does that shit ever heal? Swear the ones that have lost but are alive and made it still. And the greatest people created were made for God to steal. You have exactly 15 seconds to finish whatever the hell it is you're doing in there, or I will kick in this fucking door and drag your ass out. Do you hear me?